Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Robotics. I'm Justin. Today I'm going to show you how to get your computer to communicate with your Arduino to a serial port using Python. Okay, let's get started. So before we start any coding, I should show you how the finished code should work. So after we get our laptop and Arduino set up and plugged in, we're going to run a Python script. And that Python script is going to take an input from the user, either an on or off. If we send an on, it's going to send that string to the Arduino, where it's going to turn the LED on. Then the Arduino is going to send a string back of the status of the Arduino, so it'll be printed out for the user to see. And then the same thing we send off, oh, is going to turn the LED off to send the status back. So that's basically how the program is going to work. Let's open the Arduino IDE, zoom in, and then we can start coding. So here in the Arduino IDE, we're going to start off with making a variable on top, and we're going to make it a string variable, and this variable is going to hold the incoming bytes, so I'm going to call it in bytes. And then in void loop, we're going to set up the serial monitor, so serial.begin. And I'm just going to set that to 9600. And then we're going to also set up our LED. Now I'm going to be using the built in LED, and that is just pin mode LED built in. And we're going to set that to an output. And that's all we need for a void setup. So in void loop, if serial.available is greater than zero, we're going to set the incoming bytes to equal serial.read string until. And then in the brackets, we're going to do a backslash n. And this is just because Python, as when it sends information, it just adds the backslash n. So that's so the Arduino can know when to stop reading the bytes. Now, with the incoming bytes, we're going to check if it's an on or off that's been sent from Python. And now how we're doing that is doing if um, in bytes is equal to on, we're going to set the LED to high. And we're also going to write back to Python LED is on. And then after that, we're going to do basically the same thing, but for the off position, so if in byte is equal to off, we're going to set the LED to low, and we're going to send back to the Python LED is off. And just so this program is easier to use, I'm going to put another sta statement, an else statement this time. So I'm going to do else, then I'm just going to do a serial dot write, and I'm just going to say invalid information. Just so if we know what we're sending to the Arduino, if it's the wrong kind of input, we'll get that information back in Python. And yep, that all looks good. Let's go to Python. So the first thing we're going to do in Python is import serial and import time. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download the module of PySerial. And then after that, we're going to set up the serial communication. So we're going to have to store everything into a variable. I'm just going to call it a serial communication, so serial com equal to serial dot serial then inside the brackets i want to put the com port in uh which in my case is com port 7 it should be all capitalized and then after that i want to put the bog rate for the arduino and i put 9600 just like i did in the arduino ide and then after that i want to set the timeout to serial com to equal one second and then after that, we can start the actual coding for the program. So I'm just going to do a while true statement. And this will just make sure it runs forever. So I'm going to get an input. I'm going to store that input into an I. So input. And then I'm going to put inside the brackets, I'm going to put the string I want. So I'm going to do input on comma off. And just to make this code a little easier to use, I'm going to put a dot strip. And this will just remove any blank spaces before or after the input we put in. Now. I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to do an if i is equal to done. I want to print finished program. And I'm also going to break out of the while loop. And then after the break, we're going to put in serial com dot write. Then I'm going to send i, but I can't just send the string i. I have to encode it into bytes, and that's just i dot encode like that and then i'm going to do a time dot sleep and i'm just going to do 0 0.5 seconds 
and that's just so the Arduino has time to react. And then after that, I'm going to print the information that we get back from the Arduino. So print, and inside the brackets, serial com dot read line dot decode. And this is because the Arduino sends bytes back to Python. We have to decode it. And in the brackets of decode, I'm going to write ASCII. And so we just get ASCII characters back. And then after the while loop, it's always good to close the serial communication when you finish the program. And that's actually all the Python code we're going to need for the program. Let's upload everything to the Arduino and let's run the program and let's see what it does. Okay, so here we have the program all up and running. So if I press the word, if I type in the word on, you will see the LED on the Arduino board turns on. And if I press off, it turns it off and it t and we get the status of the Arduino back. Now if I put in an invalid information, like if I had a capital on, now this is technically wrong because I have a capital O, I've written the program so it only ca uh, accepts lowercase. So if I put on with a capital, it gives an invalid input back to us. So that's how you can make Python communicate with the Arduino through a serial port. If you want the Arduino files or the Python files, follow the link below, go to my Google sites, and then and there you can download the files. So that's the end of this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Consider subscribing. Uh, check out my other videos on this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye.